which is a show featuring a rotating panel of female presenters discussing a range of topics from a female perspective. Versus of Love aims to be the post majlis majlis. It tries to bring the community together to continue engaging with the Masaib of Ahlul Bayt I've had the honor of working and directing and producing documentaries for the Imam Hussein TV3 channel. So the Late Night Show is essentially it's a talk show. I had guests all the way from self-development experts, media experts, sales directors. My show, Live in London, it needs no introduction with world-renowned scholar Dr. Sayyid Amar Nakshwani. Sometimes it's difficult for us to do the research. It takes us sometimes a week, two weeks to find answers for certain questions. Sometimes the questions don't even get answered and we have to roll them on until next week. But I guess this is a problem that is actually you know, a good headache and worth having. One of the main difficulties which we come across is um, getting female participants to participate on the show. After the show, when we get the emails coming through from the women um, in our society, in our community, and it really shows us that women relate more to a female speaker. Among some of the difficulties I'd say is the late nights with a pretty hectic schedule for all the reciters who have probably come from one or two majalis beforehand. Sometimes you just have this magical moment where the reciter says a line that connects and lets you release all of that emotion, which helps you connect with Aba Abdullah and therefore with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I filmed these documentaries during COVID. That always stays with me because I think that was a difficulty that I thought I will face. Yet I think Imam al-Hussein sallallahu alayhi opened so many doors and made everything so easy for me. How much can we laugh and joke on an Islamic channel? Especially when the channel is associated to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. But the best part of the show is actually, it's the fun part of it. So that's, that's the games. The best thing about this show, you can actually speak and discuss and actually voice their opinions and questions to Dr. Sayyid Amar Nakshwani. We've come so far, yet still have so much more to achieve. Support us so that we can support your children in bringing them more knowledge and content. Because Imam Hussein TV is your gateway to Karbala. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته As lovers of the Ahlul Bayt, we all have an inclination to the epitome of love. When we rejoice, when times are hard, Whatever stage of life we are in, we all yearn to be in one special place. We all wish to visit the Blessed Shrine of Imam al Hussein in the holy city of Karbala. Not all of us have the blessing to visit the Shrine of Imam Hussein, but there is still a way to experience the sights and sound of the blessed land of Karbala in the comfort of your own homes. We call upon you dear viewers to support us in our financial costs to help bring the holy land of Karbala beaming into your homes. You can support us with a monthly donation of just 50 US dollars or 30 pounds. We are your gateway to Karbala. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Imam Hussein TV3. I ask you all to support Imam Al Hussein TV for the future of your youth, for the future of Shiaism. Every single person's life is dependent on your education, and Imam Al Hussein TV provides you a free Islamic education. If you want to have good programs, if you want to have a source to help your community, your children, your families, do not hesitate. This is the month of rewarding, this is the month of istighfar, the month of Imam Hussain is a name that unites us all and this is the one area where we can put aside our differences and come together. I hope that the viewers at home will help donate to the channel and to build a platform for the future generations.
I stand here before you, my dear brothers and sisters, to invite one and all to donate generously to ensure that the message of Ahlul Bayt wassalam, is kept alive. Beautiful programs we have. One of that program is Shia Voice. The Shia Voice try to bring up talented from east, from west, from north, from south. But to show this, to make this program, it needs your donation, your generous donation. Please help, please support Imam Hussein TV. We need your generous support. With your support, there could be more documentaries. With your support, there could be more programs. With your support, Shia Voice may come to your community. We cannot continue this without your generous donations. In this holy month of Ramadan, a month of charity, a month of giving, a month of generosity, come together, join us on Imam Hussein TV, and generously donate as you always have done, so we may continue to provide programs which serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the holy household. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are watching the best quiz show to ever be made live on Imam Hussein TV 3, 7 Steps to Heaven, where you are asked seven questions to go to Jannah. Before I go any further to introduce myself, I'm your host by the most, and I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi. I'm joined by the one, the only, the great man himself, the big, the small, the short, the tall, the. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. For it's today. eight tomorrow. You yeah, didn't yeah. give me a bonus. Nah, that's it, that's it. nah nothing you. I've, I've guessed you up too much. I've yeah. never guessed myself up. And like, you never, you know. Really? Yeah, you I've never, never guessed you. Never in your life. Okay. Well, anyways. I'd like to welcome Brother Yasser oh. Mansour, oh. the king. The man. Oh no. The legend. Oh yes. The big lecturer. Ah. The man himself. Noorun ala Noor. Allah. Oh. Oh. Well, before we go any further, of course, me and Mullah Rashid are very happy today because today we found out that tomorrow is the day of Eid. Mm. So we say to you all, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Inshallah, Shahar Ramadan was good to you all. I know it was good to me because Alhamdulillah, I had some amazing iftar. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the last time for the season, season three, I'm going to ask Mullah Rashid the famous, infamous question. Yes. Mullah Rashid. What did you have for iftar today? Yes, so uh, tonight or today, Alhamdulillah, I was invited to a brother's house. Oh. The brother is from the holy land of Afghanistan. Mashallah. And you know that Afghans, they do a they cracking don't job. They don't mess about. They don't play Kabuli at all. Allahu Akbar. We had mantu. Oof. We had different stews. Allah, Allah, Allah. Salad. Allah, Allah. Bread. Allah, Allah. Now this guy, it's very interesting. He married an Iraqi. Oh, so there was a mix. It was a mix. <laughs> you told oh. me why there was dolma next to mantu. Oh. You told me why there was marga everywhere. Allahu there Akbar. There was even. Oh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Give me, give me, just tell me a few foods. What uh, Arabic? Yeah, yeah. Uh, laham, uh, laham. Qozi. Uh, Qozi. Wow. What Abli Pilo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, f I didn't know. I was. That, that was stupid. You don't know where to go. <laughs> like, I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, alhamdulillah. Iftar was incredible. I am full. Um, but I'd like to ask you, you know, because I know that there's a sunnah that happens yes. in your household where yes. the last day of Ramadan, Yasser eats as if like, you there's know... No he's tomorrow. In, he's, yeah, there's no tomorrow. He's in a castle. Yeah, so I, I don't know how long it's been this time. I actually... I, let me just say the whole story. So for the longest time of my life, I don't know why, but the last day of Shah Ramadan, my mom basically says no to everyone. She says, I'm not cooking. <laughs> you know, I'm celebrating just like you're celebrating. <laughs> so you're ordering food. So we go ham. We get burgers, wings, pizza. We, we lose our minds. <coughs> and funny enough, um, I actually had a word with my parents today whilst eating saying, yeah. why do we do this? 
Shout, do what? I was like, why do we always order the same thing every year on the last day? Yeah. And they didn't realize. They started arguing, saying, wait, last year we didn't do that. I said, yes, we did. <laughs> and I told them for the longest time of my life, it's been a sunnah upon me that in, and when I go to Salat al yeah. my breakfast it's before pizza. going <laughs> is a cold slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. just to go further, yes. you know, I know we like to talk about iftar, but hey. let's ask the viewers what they had for iftar. Yes. But before that, we say, Assalamu alaikum, they call in your name and where you're calling from, please. Assalamu alaikum, caller. They call her, can you hear us? I think they're shy because they know we're going to ask them what they have yeah. for iftar. And they're probably like, we ate better than you guys. <laughs> oh, damn, they don't want to embarrass <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Burgers, mantu. <laughs> Burgers, mantu. I had, He's had, had mark every day. <laughs> <laughs> I had a tomahawk steak today. <laughs> With gold, <laughs> it was gold wrapped. Anyways, uh, they call up. Can you hear me? Okay, we're having some technical issues, which means we can talk more about food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> talk, please. <laughs> so... You know, we talk about iftar and the oh food yeah. we had, but I think me and you will have been lying to ourselves about something. Which is? Which is we don't actually care about the food so much, but rather who we're next to. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The company's everything. Yes. Everything. Yes. Because if it was just like just me by myself and all of this. With all that, I, I, would, I don't it. think I would have enjoyed yeah, 100%. it. Yeah, I think it's because I know the guy next to me loves Mawla Ali. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Ha! Ha! Oh, assalamu alaikum, they call your name and where you're calling from. I think the technical... Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. You guys sure love talking about food. My name is Minhal, I'm 24 and I'm from Bristol. Allahu oh, yes. akbar. <laughs> Masha Allah. Allah. We have the infamous Minhal al-Khafaji. Minhal, I think you've done uh, something bad here, which is you said you're why? from Bristol when we all know you're not from Bristol. <laughs> He's about now. How are you selling out London so quick? <laughs> I've been there for four years, Hajji Yasser, but how, I have to claim Bristol well, now. How long have you been in London? 19 years? Come on. The, the balance. <laughs> Come on, Minhal. <laughs> Brother Minhal, of course, we're happy to have you on the show. Um, I'm going to ask uh, a very, to very simple question, which is, what did you have for iftar today? Tishrib. Oof. Okay, for the viewers yeah, that yeah, don't know yeah. what Tashrib is, please explain what Tashrib is. Please. It is bone broth with bread oh, and a whole God. load of vegetables. Allah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Hey. It's one of the Iraqi delicates, yeah, yeah. honestly. Delicate. Delicate. Oh, it's <laughs> the best. The best. Oh, Delicacies. Man, <laughs> you've definitely beaten me by a ballpark. You've beaten Mullah yeah, Rashid. Yeah. Damn. I must say I'm a bit <laughs> jealous. But we have a lot of callers on the way. So, brother Minhal, I'm going to take you straight away to the first step. And inshallah, Let's do it. how Iraqis say it, Allah, Muhammad, and Ali, Yak. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Ya um, have Ali. you watched the show before, Brother Minhal? Of course I have. Oh, Allah. Big fan of Imam Hussein hey. TV. The viewers, of course, know who you are. One of the best presenters. We learn from you, our older brother. Nah. Uh, you, have to, you have to do it with Jamalat, Minhal. Come on. <laughs> if I was... If I was a good presenter, I'd be sitting on, on with you two. But you two are the best Allah. that we have. <laughs> it seems like you have to have a word with the directors, I want to say to me. <laughs> but with that being said, let's, let me ask you a first question, which is a true or false. It is, Imam Hassan al-Askari was the father of the 12th Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi. Is that true or false? It's true. Bismillah, it's true. Let's Bismillah. lock that in. Let's a lock pretty it in. easy one, I must say. So, this is going to be a walk in the park, inshallah. Inshallah. Ya Allah. Bismillah, Mullah Rashi, take ya it away. Ali. Right. Mr. Minhal, I am going to take you to your second question. And right now, we are currently going through the largest cemetery in the world, which is known as Wa'al Salam. Allah. Allah. Minhal, your second question is who was the initial individual? to commemorate Eid al-Ghadir. Was it Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Was it Imam Sajjad alayhi salam? Was it Lady Fatima alayhi salam? Or was it Imam Ali alayhi salam? I'm going to go with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And of course, of Brother course. Minhal, you are correct. Indeed, it was the Prophet Ya Ali. Himself. Ya Ali, Ya Ali indeed. Even though we are going through Eid al-Saghir, Eid al-Fitr, we all await Eid Allah al-Akbar, Eid al-Ghadir. Insha'Allah, of course. we can have a seven steps to heaven special hey. with Minhal joining us. Yes, ya Rab. that's an idea now. Ya Rab. Why ya not? Allah. Directors, 
We're trying to all get paid, inshallah, ya Rabbil Alameen. Brother Minhal, okay, the next question is, guess the place. We're going to show you a blurry picture of one of the holy shrines, and you need to tell me what shrine it is. You have four options. I think this is a pretty easy one for you. Is it al Kadhamin's holy shrine? Is it the holy shrine of Aba Abdullah al Hussein? The holy shrine of Amir al Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib? Or the holy shrine of Al Askariyain? Let me know when it's on the I'm going to go with Kadhamin, the Kadhamin holy shrines. Allah. Before we even confirm that, can you just tell the viewers why you picked al Kadhamin? Because it's the only place with a double dome, and I see a double dome Allah there, and the glorious Allah. double dome. Allah, inshallah, we are all invited to the double wah, dome wah, soon. Wah, ya Rabbi Al Alameen. Ya Rabbi Al Alameen. Double dome. Times. Take it away. Ya Allah. <laughs> On to the next question. You guys, you guys do love to laugh a lot. Have you guys been tickled before you come on the show or something? <laughs> no, honestly, we both come dead, and then a red bull and a monster is what we need. <laughs> we just hold you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the next question, Minhal, is who is the primary angel in the heavens to love Imam Ali alayhi salam? Was it Angel Jibrail, Angel Mikail, Angel Azrael or Angel Israfil? Who was the angel in the heavens to love Imam Ali alayhi salam? Your time has started. The one and only Angel Jibrail alayhi salam. We don't even need to check it. No, no, we don't need to check it. We're just going to lock it. <laughs> We're going to lock it. No, lock because it. I, I, I know the brothers in the back are now thinking Manhal Khan. Yeah, see? <laughs> Uh, Did I actually? <laughs> Israfil. Uh, Israfil, yeah. Okay. Um, we're just going to check that for you, brother Minhal. I don't think you're incorrect. In VAR, fact. please. VAR. VAR, we're going to check it now. Can I get a word from the directors? <coughs> All right, brother Minhal, before the VAR check comes back, I just want to ask you something very, very special. Um, Go on. One of the questions we done was in front of the Imam Hussein TV station in the walk to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I know that you mm. are someone that is very dear to the TV station of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, where you've done many shows such as Who is Hussein? Uh, if I'm not no not not Who is Hussein? I am Hussein. I am Hussein. Sorry. Um, yeah. Could you just explain to us what that show is about and you, some of the key intakes that you can give us? The I Am Husseini show was originally designed to during COVID, where viewers who weren't able to make it to Karbala mm. because of the COVID restrictions would be able to perform a virtual ziyara. Okay. And the thing that meant the most to these viewers was that their voices and the sound of their voices and the frequency of their voices make it to the holy land of Karbala. Allah, Allah. And I think that's that's what that's what meant the most to all the viewers who called in and shared their stories and even some who experienced miracles Allah mm. yes indeed we know about those miracles something that we all were pondering about and we even shed tears about mashallah brother Minhal Has honestly the VAR check the VAR check if you're just going to look at your screen I think you're a very uh, big football fan so I'm just going to say to you VR check you are incorrect you're out unfortunately oh. brother Minhal it was Angel Israfil but I have good news for you, Brother Minhal. First thing is, yeah. MashaAllah, you work very close to Imam Hussein TV. They send you to Iraq about 46 times a year. Yeah, so, so you're not missing out on anything. You don't need to be here right now. <laughs> Second thing that I'm going to tell you, Brother Minhal, if you really want to be in, in this giveaway, then you can scan the QR code, donate to Imam Hussein Charity, and we'll put you in the same raffle. And if your name is taken out, you can give the ticket to someone else because you are probably already planning <laughs> you probably your next go with trip. them on that trip. <laughs> so... How, yeah. how, how about this? How about this? Let's make a deal. The next person to call in and enters that raffle, put their name in twice. Oof. Okay. Oof. AV team, can okay. I accept that deal? AV team, I've you lost their minds. <laughs> AV team, can I accept that deal? AV Probably team, I've got making some trouble. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yeah, no. Okay, okay. The answer that I got, I cannot tell you on TV. I'll tell you in person. <laughs> so thank you so much, Brother Minhal, for calling. Inshallah, we'll be here again. Thank you. Habibi, thank you for having me. Habibi, thank you. Habibi, thank you. Ma'asalam, 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 
That one was one of the easier ones yeah, to yeah. do. It. No, no, no. You see, when people I know lose, I just tell them yeah, to yeah. Leave. Like, honestly, he's been to Alak more than anyone on earth. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. He's probably going to go next tomorrow. Yeah, here, here and there, I just see his Instagram. Oh, he's, he's here. Yeah, he's here again. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know, I think we all get like this nostalgia. Like, I'm in front of you, I'm saying shrine. Yeah, yeah. I think he's so used to it now. It's like going to Wembley Stadium. Wow. <laughs> We're pleased to Wow. <laughs> Did you laugh? Did? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larash's favorite place in Baghdad. <laughs> Never been to we are waiting for the next caller to confirm before they do Mullah Rashid. Hey. Let me ask a very important question. Mullah, man, As name. Eid is tomorrow, yes. unfortunately, we have to give our farewells to yes. Shahrul Ramadan. Hey. What is one thing that you have learnt during the month or that you've become accustomed to yeah. that you want to carry on doing outside Shahrul Ramadan? Um, I think reciting the Quran has been one. Okay. To be honest, I mean, even though like I, I, I. I recite Quran here and there in events yeah, and whatnot. Events. Um, I could be more frequent with reciting the you Quran. Can, you can. Uh, but alhamdulillah, uh, I got to finish the Quran. Alhamdulillah. Once? So, yeah, once. Yeah, that's <laughs> once. Oh, no, How no, many no. times am I meant to finish it? I know some people that... Um, no, no, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We're not going to name them. Yeah, yeah. Within the first 10 some days, people. he's finished it about 18 times. Someone. Anyway. Um, Mullah Rashid, yeah. I don't really care about yeah, your yeah. answer. We care about the caller. We care about the caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Caller, please tell us where you're calling from and your name. Allah. Alaikum assalam. My name is Sayyid Kazim Shah and I'm calling from East London. Uh, seems like you know who Sayyid Kazim Shah is. I know Shah. exactly who that is. Okay, take Sayyid away, Kazim, the king, the big man from East London. Allah. So you know who he is as well, by the way. Oh, maybe just the name doesn't ring a bell, but yeah, probably yeah. the voice starts. He's related to someone that we know very well from the Shah family. You no, no, no. Huh? I, I don't know what that is. Oh! Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, is that? Yeah! <laughs> Sayyid Kazim Shah, Habibi, how are you? First of all, Sayyid Kazim, please send us a very, very warm salam to your father and mother. Yes. And tell them that I say to them, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Sayyid Kazim, I'm very happy that you called because if you do lose, it'll be very easy for me to tell you that you've lost. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> not allowed to lose. You're not going to Because I remember lose. the one day I ate at their house. Oh. They get, bro. When was this? During the month? It wasn't during Ramadan. I was, was going to say Ramadan. because I didn't receive an invite. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the food I had, it was like a grilled, grilled lamb. Oh. Again, we're talking about food. It was getting yeah. carried away. As you can see, it's the only thing that <laughs> we do in our lives. Anyway. Let me tell you something, Saint Kardam. I don't think um, only one person, f no one from East London has one. No, we have had one. Uh, one we guy. have had one. Are yeah, you sure? One guy, yeah. Okay, Saint Kardam. Obviously, Mullah Rashid's nervous now because he wants you to bring <laughs> one home to East London. Saint Kardam, so don't let me down, bro. Don't disappoint us. I know that your father has a lot of knowledge, mashallah. Ya yeah, Allah. So maybe he can help you. Your Bismillah. brother as well has... A lot of knowledge as well, mashallah. Bismillah, <laughs> Sayyid. Jiyo Baba, kya kene? Mawla, salam. I think we need to start this because he's Pakistani. We've allowed Nara, Samullah Rashid. Nara! Right. Kazim Shah, I ask you your first question. Your first question, which is Imam Muhammad al Mahdi, also known as the hidden Imam, went into occultation and will return as the Mahdi. Is that true or false? Very easy one, I must say. True. Of course, it's true. Let's lock that in. Let's just let's let's lock just it pass in. This one. Shout out to it's East too, London. It's too easy, Milan. I don't viewers. like these questions. Yeah. Because you know what? If someone thinks about it, they need to think about if they really do love it. But then I remember we had callers in the past where it's been something like this and you're like, are you sure? And they're like, no! And then they change it. <laughs> so you never know. It's always good to have yes. a little nice introduction. Yes, you know? yes of course. Ahlan, 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 ahlan. Love that ring, by the way. Thank you very much. Anyway, moving on to the second question. <laughs> mashallah. Mashallah, Allah Mubarak says. Allah anyway, uh, moving, on to <laughs> 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 moving on to the second question, Kazim. Sayyid, Kazim, Shah, Shah which Ali, is... Ma. What was the most commendable declaration reiterated by the Prophet? Was it Muhammad Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah, Aliyun waliullah, or Salam alaikum? Right, Sayyid. Um, 30 seconds. Begin now. I think it's the second option. La ilaha illallah. 
Are you sure you want to confirm that answer, Baba Sayyid Qadim Shah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Listen, Sayyid Qadim, I'm not liking the vibe from you. Uh, you're my friend, so I can speak to you. You know? Put some energy Yeah, yeah. Just, just a bit us. more. Say, Say yes! Come on. You're not even going to school tomorrow. It's half term. Come on, Allah. bro. Allah. Uh, Give it some passion! So now you can sleep, wake up, have breakfast. It's nice. Yeah. Aggression? <laughs> some. What is Aggression? Aggression? Mindset? Mindset? Anyway. La ilaha illallah. Of course, he is right. One of the most beloved words for Allah, his prophet, and the end to hear is La ilaha illallah. Allah. Muhammadun. Rasulullah. Aliyun. Waliyullah. Give us a hat. Al haq. Ahsent. Right. Is this my question or your question? Your question, no? My question. Yes. All right, Sayyid Qadim, inshallah, you're watching on YouTube. I'm going to wait for this image to pop up on your screen. <laughs> this one is a, this one. Yeah, yeah. This one. Why do you guys? It's always uh, East London. Come on, guys. Yeah, I, know, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> guys, remove two, please. Wallah, nah, allow it. This one's very <laughs> hard for someone to They get. all look like this inside. <laughs> Guys, um, uh, Saint Kardom, you're going, well, right now showing <laughs> Ooh, you English, <laughs> fighting the English language. Right now, we are showing you one of the shrines of um, the Hanul Bayt, and I want you to tell me whose shrine it is. Is it the Holy Shrine of Hazrat Abbas, the Holy Shrine of Mawla Hussein, the Holy Shrine of Al Askariyain, or the Holy Shrine in Medina of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Listen, Zain, Saad, la. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I, can East I, London. can I just remove one of the options, please? And uh, brother Kazim, can you see the, can you see the image? Yeah. Okay. Bismillah. I, I am. Um, you know what? I'm going to help you. I'm not going to give you the answer, but I'm going to give you very vague clues. So, he's. This image is uh, of a shrine in Iraq. Okay. Let's start. In Iraq. We got 19 and, seconds, and you started with Iraq. Nice. And uh, what else can I say? And. This person uh, took part in uh, a very special battle that we commemorate. Oh, it's Hazrat Abbas. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Lock it in. A Shout team, out I did to not you. I did Sayyid Kazim, you king. Hazrat La, Abbas. La, Abbas. Hala. I'm not Hala. letting East London lose. Mawla Abbas Kafir Zainab. Salamullah alayhi wa Abbas. Indeed, you are right. Khad. Sayyid Khadim, I want a favor from you and from you, all the viewers watching us now. Before we even ask the next question, I need a favor. You see, I've been doing people favors, I've been giving them the right answers, and I've asked for nothing in return. But now I want to ask something. That I want you to share the link of today's show to all your friends. Let them join in, let them call. Because as I said, this is the last episode of the season. So we want people to call in so we can give them an opportunity to call to Karbala. Jannah. Karbala. Same Heaven thing. on earth. Heaven Anyways, on earth. with that being said, Mullah Rashid asked right. him Sayyid the Kazim, third or fourth or fifth The question. fourth question, I believe, yeah, is which two prophets remained unmarried throughout their lives? Was it Prophet Musa and Harun? Allah. Prophet Muhammad and Ibrahim? Ya Rab. Prophet Isa and Yahya? Allah. Or Allah. Prophet Daniel and Yunus? Allah. Which two prophets remain? Should we remove one of the options? Let us remove three. Let's remove one of the options, my brothers and sisters. Let today. us remove one, please, for Sayyid Kazim. Okay. I, I think you know the answer. Right? Sayyid Kazim, you got about 20 seconds now. Rashid, do you know the answer? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Prophet Isa and Yahya. Let's lock it in! Uh, Prophet Isa and Prophet Yahya, Salamullah Ali. Indeed, they were set unmarried through their lives, but inshallah, when they enter Jannah, they will get greeted by Hawr al Hain. Brother Sayyid Kadam, I take you now to Ahali Karbala, the beautiful Mokib that you Ahali can find Karbala. Walk to Karbala. And I ask you the next question, which is, guess the word. I'm going to wait for it to pop up on the screen. And you need to tell me what word this is. Mullah Rashid, do you know the word? No. You don't, innit? I really don't. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, trying. it's on my screen now. All right. 30 seconds on the clock. I don't know. Someone say it to me. Um, it's Mashhad. Allahu Akbar. Nice one. Let's lock it in. MashaAllah, brother Say Kadam. Kazim. Big up East Allah, London. You can go to Meshhad very soon and visit Big up East Mawla London. Inshallah. Say Inshallah with more compassion. Come on. Inshallah. No, 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 no. More, bruv. Show, you know them, the, 
Show him the East London, brother. Said Kazim. Give me a nara, Said Kazim. Yeah, Said Kazim. Give him a nara, bro. Don't worry, bro. Woodford ain't ready for that one. Okay. He's not doing it. Said, you gotta give us a nara, bro. We'll take away. We'll let Asha take away. Okay. Right. The next question is, <laughs> how many prophets were dispatched to the children of Israel? Allah. Was it 1,000? Was it 600? Was it one child? Or was one child, one prophet? Uh, or was it 10? Mm. How many prophets were dispatched to the children of Israel? I think, I think you can work it through. I think you can name more than one prophet that was sent to uh, the children of Israel. I think you can name more than 10. But... That narrows it down. Say How cousin. many prophets in total? Ten seconds to go. How many prophets in total? 124,000. Um, Baba, uh, Sid Kadom, Kadom, can you just give us an answer, please? Yeah. Lock it in. Lock it in. Five seconds. Four. Ten. Ten. Bismillah ten. Ten. Yeah. Let's lock it in. Oh. Well, Rashid is from East London, so this one's on you. No, no. Let's oh, lock please, it in. Please, Number please, ten, you're please. doing it. No, please. I've done, done the last two, bro. Lap, the last one, didn't even, you didn't even kick anyone oh. out. Oh. Elif la. You have to speak to his father now and tell him that. I have to see his dad tomorrow. How do you think I feel about that? He's going to say, you kicked my son out the show. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'll probably see him sometime. Anyway. Um, oh. Said Kazim. You know what's sad is that I remember him telling me he was going to call in. And I don't know when he was going to call in, but he's called in today. And unfortunately, you have not been successful. However, 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 however. It's not the end of the day. Why? Because two things. The first thing is that right under me, you'll see a QR code which will come up very soon. Make a donation. That's one entry for you to put your name into the raffle. Where if your name gets picked out, you'll be going to Karbala. The second thing is that we are not... Do, shall we tell him? What, the special announcement? Yeah. Wow. Shall we tell him? Yeah. Yeah. Special announcement, guys, is that due to popularity of the show, Alhamdulillah, it looks like you guys are very happy to see Yasser's face. That's a lie. As I the said, we've <laughs> saved so much electricity. <laughs> the Imam Hussein TV wants to see Mullah Rashid more so that we can continue saving uh, electricity. Seven Steps to Heaven, very, very soon, Allah. we'll be back for season number Four. Allah Akbar. Which I don't know how What? Next Ramadan? No, not next Ramadan. What? We're back in about two, three weeks, Ak. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did it in Ak. Yeah, yeah. So seven steps to heaven is gonna be back very soon. So Sayyid, I want you to call back in. I want you to have a chance to go to Karbala, inshallah. So please, 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 mm, please call in very soon. And inshallah we will see you very soon as well. So take care of yourself, Sayyidna, and inshallah, best of luck. Take care. All right. Thank you so much, Said Kadam. And remember what I said to you. If you want to call in again, we will not accept you until you send the link to at least 10 of your friends. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> That's only two. I need a third one. Come on, Said Kadam. <laughs> He's scrambling for his phone now. <laughs> <laughs> but as Mullah Rasha said, before we take on the next caller, I want everyone to listen that normally... You know, this is the third season of Seven Steps to Heaven, and we've made this uh, show exclusive to Shah Ramadan. But because of the popularity and because of demand, we will be coming back to your screens very, very, very soon on a regular basis, just so we can give more people a chance to go to Karbala, because we're, we're just so nice. Which means, Mullah Rashid, I'm going to have to see you more often. Which Unfortunately, is... Unfortunately. <laughs> wow. Ya Rabbil you know, I was going to say, which is never a problem. No, no. You see, Laytul Qadr, they say Allah accepts the du'as. Well, he didn't accept <laughs> mine. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, it's the next caller ready, guys. Yes. Well, we say to the next caller, Assalamu alaikum, dear caller. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Yes, yeah, now I go. Uh, my name is Masuma. I'm calling from Birmingham. MashaAllah, from Birmingham. Sister Masuma from one of the best places in the United Kingdom. If the rest, if didn't, the rest exist. didn't exist. <laughs> Sister, <laughs> Sister, <laughs> take that Sister, <laughs> Sister Masuma, inshallah you're well. Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Inshallah you've kept me in Mullah Thank Rashid you, and to you as well. And to you as well. Have a lovely Eid, inshallah. Inshallah. If only we, were, we lived in a place like Birmingham, of yeah. course, they're filled with muzzies. So, you know, we, we could chill with the mandem. But unfortunately, <laughs> we're stuck in London. So you? I'm celebrating Eid with James and Thomas tomorrow. <laughs> Mama, go into a road. You'll see it half of Iraq down there. <laughs> anyway, Sister Masuma, just a quick one. Have you been watching Seven Steps to Heaven? Oh. 
Uh, yes, I have, yeah. Perfect. So you know how it works, inshallah. So we're just going to get straight to it. On to the first question. Do I have your honours? The first question for you, Sister Masuma, is Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib was born in the holy city of Mecca. Is that true or is it false? Your time starts now. Um, I, I think. Sorry. Uh, I think it, I think it, I think it's true. I think it's true. I think it's true. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's yes. lock that in. Let's lock it in. Sister Masuma, as well, I need to tell you some good news. But, Sister Masuma, you said you've watched the show before, so as you know, you know, mashallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created me and Mullah Rashid with big hearts. So when a person is struggling, they don't, know, they don't know an answer, we like to help them, you know, we like to cheat, if that's what you like to call it. So, Sister Masuma, I have been asking everyone on the show for a favor. So I'm going to ask you for a favor now. Will you promise to do this favor for me, Sister Masuma? Inshallah, I'll try my best. Sister Masuma, all I want you to do is, because this is the last episode of the season, I want to give as much opportunities as possible to every person to go to Karbala free of charge. So I want you to copy the link of the YouTube and send it to your family group chat. Just so everyone has an opportunity to go to Karbala. I just, I don't want to end this episode with 10, 15 callers when we could have had 46. Do you get it, Mullah Rashid? How would it so, be? So, so please, Sister Masuma, do me the favor. I just want more callers so they can all win a ring and they can all go to Karbala for free. That's all I want. So, so. Yeah, definitely. So, is today the last episode, oh? Today is the last episode of season three, yes. For now. For now, of course, yes. For now. So we're going to announce the winner very soon. So I want more people to call in. More, more, and even more after that. <laughs> but with that said, I'm going to take you now to Wadi Salam and ask you a next question, which is the lengthiest sermon in Nahj al Balagha is recognized as Khutbah al Mutaqeen, Khutbah al Qasiya, Khutbah al Fadakiya, or Khutbah al Muniqa. I like every word that has Qas in it. I don't know. Muniqa. Mutaqeen. Um, I think, I think it's Qutba Al-Qasiyya. Qutba Al-Qasiyya. MashaAllah. Are you sure, sister, you have 10 seconds on the clock? Okay, let me uh, remove one for you. Let me remove one for you. Okay, sure. Okay, we've removed Qutba Al-Fadakiyya. So now you have options one, two, or four. <laughs> okay, we've removed another one, sister. Wow, first time ever. Sister, because I know you shared the link, I'm going to help you again. It's either Khutbat al qasiya or Khutbat al muttaqin You know, me, I, I don't know which one I would do, but... I, I think, think it's al qasiya You think it's what, sorry? I think it's al qasiya al qasiya you want to confirm that one again? Even though I've helped. Okay, are you sure you want to lock it in? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's lock it in. No, it's... She's right. Indeed. You are correct, Sister Masuma. Even though, you know, the AV team tried to play a trick on you, Imam Ali alayhi salam would never trick you. And you have the love of Imam Ali in your heart, so we take you to the third or fourth question. Mullah <laughs> should take it that away. That was a great save. Yeah, well, Honestly, <laughs> on to the next question. Um, at Oof. the Imam Hussein TV3 oh. <laughs> studio. Question. On the walk from Najaf to Karbala. Allah. Right. Your next question, Sister Masuma, is guess the place. You see a blurry picture on your screen. Uh, it's one of the four options. The first, is it either oh. Imam Hussein Holy Shrine? Is it Hazrat Zainab's Holy Shrine? Is it Hazrat Ruqayya's Holy Shrine? Or is it Imam Ali's Holy Shrine? Okay. I think? I think so as well, to be honest. Okay, can you see the image on your screen, Sister Masuma? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I can see it. Yeah. Okay, so 30 seconds on the clock. Do us proud all the way from Birmingham. Inshallah, you can get the one. Uh, yeah, can I get a clue or something? Okay, a clue that I'm going to give you is. It's in Iraq. No, no, no. That's a, don't. don't. <laughs> I'm going to remove one of the answers, but don't take what Mullah Rashid said seriously. Don't take that seriously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've removed the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein. <laughs> Which leaves you option two, three, or four, and you have five seconds to answer. Alec, 
five seconds to answer. So you have five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Let's lock that in. Bismillah, wa billah, wa asma al husna. I think you are correct, sister. I think, I don't know. And indeed, you are. It is the holy shrine of Sayyidah Ruqayya all the way in Sham. Inshallah, we are all invited to a holy shrine very soon. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Inshallah. No. Nah. Have you ever been to Sham? No, that's the one place I haven't been, brother. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you basically, you're not a mu'min. <laughs> okay. <Basically. laughs> nice. All right. But I really want to go, Allah. Let's go together. Have you been? Let's go together. I've been better times. Is it? Yeah, I, I lived there for shop. a bit. I lived there for a bit. And you remember everything? No, I don't remember, but I've been there again. So you're just claiming it blindly? What? Fair enough. Uh, bro, I have to visit all the Ma'asun. Khadim al-Hussein? Khadim al-Hussein al-Hussein who will Khadim Allah. Right, is this yours? No, it's yours. Right. So Ma'asun, the next question is, who was the initial individual laid to rest in Al-Baqi? Was it Uthman ibn Madhun, Ammar ibn Yasser, Sulaim ibn Qais al Hilali or Salman al Muhammadi. Allah. Do you know the right answer? Do you know the right answer? Who's the first to be buried in Jannah al Baqi? Let's remove one of the options just to help her out. It is a pretty tough one to be fair. Alright, we've removed Salman al Muhammadi, also known as Khadim. Okay? I think you know this sister, come on. Look, the he, first one, I, I, think, I think it was Usman ibn Madhun. I Uf, think it was. Let's lock in Uthman ibn Madhun. And indeed, sister Masuma, you are correct. Indeed, it was Uthman ibn Madhun. Not the third caliph, but one of the greatest um, companions to Rasulullah and Imam Ali alayhi salam, to the point that Imam Ali actually named him his son after Uthman ibn Madhun. Just to reiterate, not the third caliph, for he was Uthman ibn Affan. But moving on, is this is my one. Yeah. All right, sister, I'm going to wait for this puzzle to pop up on your screen, and you're going to have to guess the word. Well, this is very easy. Man. Say well. Look at the specific ones, like this B and Y. Come on. Yeah. All right, uh, let's give her a clue, if that's possible. Shabab, Al Kebab. <laughs> Sister, is the word on your screen? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, thirty seconds on the clock. Uh, um, yeah, that's a tough one. What? That's a tough one. It's oh. tough. It's a tough one, I know, I know, unfortunately, but I think you know it, you know, 14 members. No? Oh, I'm never, a mind. never mind, never mind, I gave you the phone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> think about it, yeah, I'll give you an, uh, an egg. Yes, you are sorry? correct. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, you are correct. Oh, thank you. Of course you're correct. It is the Ahlul Bayt. Directors, yeah? Of course, you are correct. 14 members, yes. Ahlul Bayt. Indeed, you are right, Sister Masuma. You got it right with a little help. But like I said, Sister Masuma, I've given you some help. So help me as well. Scratch my back. I scratch Inshallah. My back. Ya Rabbil Alameen. <laughs> Mullah Rasha, take it away. Right. Your next question, Sister Masuma, is who was the first ambassador in Islam? Allah. Was it Abdul Rahman ibn Auf? Uf. Asad ibn Zurara? Oh, Zurara. Was it Asad Zurara. Zurara. Was it Hassan ibn Thabit or was it Jafar ibn, ibn Talib? It's not Hassan, it's Hassan. Huh? Do you remember that question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sister, uh. sister Masuma, I believe in you. Who was the first ambassador in Islam? I think this is a very easy one, sister. Who was the first ambassador in Islam? Someone that went to Abyssinia, they might say. Five seconds, sister. I gave, you a clue. I gave you a clue, sister. You went to Abyssinia. Option number two. Option number two. Asad ibn Zurara. Asad ibn Zurara. Sister, 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 sister Masuma. Unfortunately, you are incorrect. For the first ambassador in Islam was Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. When he took the first group of Muslims to Abyssinia to seek refuge from the Christian king. 
from the oppressors in Mecca. But sister, I think this is a good thing. For now, you, will, you have learned something new to add to your Islamic knowledge. As well as you took part of a beautiful show. But sister, it doesn't end here because I have good news for you. Even though this is the last episode of this season, season four will be coming to your screens very, very soon, sooner than you might think. As well as, if you want to donate using the QR code under uh, Rashid's uh, shin pad, it will take you <laughs> to a website, and it's not only for you, but it's for every viewer watching right now. If you donate to the impoverished family in Iraq, we will put your name into the same draw, into the same raffle, and you might win a trip to Karbala. But with that being said, <laughs> thank you so much for calling, Sister Matsuma. Thank you. May Allah thank bless you. you. And thank Eid you very Mubarak. much. Eid Mubarak. With that being said, you know Eid is coming, which means zakat and donating is coming. You know, one of the blessed acts. So let's play you a quick six second video from Imam Hussein Charity. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Live! <laughs> <laughs> Viewers of Imam Hussein TV! I'm your host, Asa Hilfi, and as I said, today is a very special day because it's been announced that tomorrow is Eid al Fitr. Hey. So, Eid Mubarak, Mullah Rashid. Eid Mubarak. Habib, I expect I'm waiting for my Eid, inshallah. Habib, you're older than me, so you need to give me an Eid. No, no, but Galway. you make more I'm money than us. I'm actually going to record it that if Mullah Rashid does not give me an Eid, our friendship ends here today. <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> viewers, for anyone that's calling in today, I've made a deal with the directors. Mm. Normally, you only get one chance, one lifeline for me to help you, to give you the right answer. But today, I've made a deal that if you send the link of the YouTube um, uh, live to your friends and family, I will give you not one lifeline, but two lifelines. And let's be honest, out of seven questions, I think two lifelines guarantees you a win. With that being said, the more you send the link and the more people I see joining in and calling, the more I'll help you. And brothers and sisters, the reason I say this to you is not because we don't have enough viewers, but rather I want more viewers to call in so they have a bigger chance to win a trip to Karbala. Me and Mullah Rashid and the team at Imam Hussain TV are not stingy, yeah. but rather we want to give people Generous. the chance to go to this Jannah. This is the month of giving. Allahu Akbar. Ramadan. Technically, this is my zakat al-fit to everyone. Allahu Akbar. Sarah Qajari has been accepted. Allahu Akbar. Job done. With that being said, I say to the viewer, Assalamu alaikum, dear viewer, your name and where you're calling from, please. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, Allahu Akbar. Coming in you with energy. One. <laughs> you have one. You have one seven steps to heaven. That's it. Thank you so much. Get his name. Put it into the draw. Fi Allah. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Can you tell me your age? Because it seems like you're very, very young and energetic. Six. 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 Wow. Well, uh, what was his name? Brother Jawad. Jawad. Oh. Jawad, Jawad mashallah, I love him. Shouting named after the ninth beautiful Imam. Uh, Brother Jawad, I want to ask one last thing. Where are you calling from? Dearborn. Oh. Dearborn. Dearborn, honestly, is my favorite place in America. They're doing a great and job. And I'm going to stop it there. Like, I, oh, just that. That's this it. is the last episode, so I don't need to lie to anyone. Okay. Dearborn is honestly my favorite place in America. First? first. After New York. <laughs> after? Which and Los after. Angeles. <laughs> That's it. That, that. No, no. Like, I know. We're no, no. Just after something else. And Denver. Shout yeah. out to my friends What's in Denver, Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Bro, the mountains and that. The mountains. <laughs> and the vibes. <laughs> Brother, and Brother the Jawad, I'm going to ask you a first question. But before I ask it, tell mommy and daddy to send their uh, link of the YouTube video to their friends and family so that uh, I can help you to win. I want more callers, I want more people like you to call in so that you might go to Mawla Hussein in Iraq. With that being said, my mom, to... sorry? My mom tells everybody. Oh, your mom told everybody? It's good you told me because now I'm going to help you to win, inshallah, as much as I can. I'm going to ask the first question. Make sure mommy and daddy are next to you so that, so that they can help you. Your first question is, 
Imam Hassan ibn Ali was poisoned by his wife Ja'da Ja'da bint Al Ashaf. I think I said that very wrong. Obviously, it's written in English, but I think you get the gist. Jawad asked mommy and daddy, tell me, is that true or false? Jawad, you have 15 seconds. Jawad, you got it. Jawad, do you know the answer? No. True. Let's lock it in. Huh? Okay. It's true. Let's lock it in. No. Let's lock it in for Brother Jawad Majid. MashaAllah, you are correct, Brother Jawad. All the way from Dearborn, Michigan. Right, Jawad. We are going to take you to your second question, mm. where I know you're going to get this right because you're a smart young boy. Of course And this is, is going to be a very easy question for you. Ooh. And the next question is, Jawad, who was the second woman to accept Islam? Was it Sayyida Khadija, Ooh. Sayyida Zahra, Allah. was it Umm Al-Fadl, the Allah wife of Al-Abbas, or was it Lady Zainab? Who was the second woman to accept Islam? Your 30 seconds, Jawad, begin now. I know you're not watching alone. You can phone a friend. You can ask someone if you're not sure. But you got this. What? Donna. Sorry? Donna. Is it? Which one? Wait. Okay, sorry. Lona. <laughs> Lona. Nina Zima. The number I think, four. I think which one? He said number four. Okay. This is where your first yeah. how um uh, lifeline comes in. Don't pick number four. Pick another one. I'm going to help you. Pick another one. Pick another one. one. Number one, pick another one. <laughs> Two. It's the second woman to accept this one. Baba, what's wrong with you? All right, Brother Majid, I mean, Jawad, I'm going to help you one last time, okay? Give me your final answer. What's your final answer? Number two, let's look in number two. Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two. Look it in, what do you play? Two, 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 two. Oh, oh, is it? Okay, look in number three. Number three, number three. Whatever the answer is, just look it. Just go next. Yeah. Wow, brother Jawad, how did he get it right? So smart, I told you he's so, so smart. So smart, mashallah. What a king. Honestly, one of the smartest six-year-olds I've ever met in yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah. By far. By far. One with five. <laughs> inshallah, <laughs> inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Take away? Right, Jawad, your next question is, guess the place. So, um... If you're watching on YouTube, or oh, I need you to be watching on YouTube, yeah, yeah, kind of uh, because this is guess the place. You're going to get a blurry picture on your screen, and you have to tell me where it is, okay? So, just to confirm, has the picture come up on your screen? No. No, okay, we'll give it a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, two one, two, seven, two. six. <laughs> has five, it come up on your screen now, George? Three. No. Yes. 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 Perfect. So it's one of the four options: either Imam Hussein's shrine, Hazrat Abbas's shrine, Askariyain, or Kalvamain. You gotta give me an answer, and you have 20 seconds. Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein. No. No. Have, okay. uh, one last no, chance, one last chance. Um, the, this holy shrine is uh, is of one of the Imams after Imam Hussein. After Imam Hussein. Um, what else? What else? Give me give me an answer. You have five, four, three, four. Four! 
four. Let's lock in number four. And indeed, brother, Jawad Majd is correct. You are right. Masha Allah, Tabarak Rahman, Elif Lam Meen. ذلك الكتاب. لا ريب فيه. Ah, hudan. للمتقي. الذين. Let's stop it there. Right, brother Majid, Jawad, Majid, we are moving on to our favorite place, which is the Mercedes Sprinter and the Audi A5. Which one's your favorite? You will decide. Right, the next question is, on which date does the day of Arafah fall? So what day is the day of Arafah? Is it the 9th of Shawwal? Is it the 9th of Dhul Qadr? The 9th of Dhul Hijjah? Or the 8th of Dhul Hijjah? 30 seconds. Number three. Number three, let's lock that in. A V team. 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 Jawad, you are right. Indeed, it falls on the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. And what happens on the tenth, Mullah Rashid? And then on the tenth is the day of Abha. Allah, Eid al Abha. Eid al Abha. One of the great Eids where we celebrate. Aye. The sacrifice. Oh yes, I actually got this one first time. Oh, did you get yeah, yeah. So yeah, wait. Brother Jawad, <laughs> we're going to have to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. Um, I'm going to help you by saying absolutely nothing. Brother Jawad, tell me what this word is. You know, there's a Y, there's an A, there's a H, there's a B, there's a G, there's an A, and there's a H. I can make a tune out there, you know. Mm. Y to the A to the G. To la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too comfortable. <laughs> Brother Jawad, can you see the word on your screen? Kadeem! What? what? Kadeem! <laughs> no, wait. Gadeem. Wait. Okfu. <laughs> You're not far. Brother, but Brother figure Jawad. Man. Brother Jawad, you have 30, you have 30 uh, seconds to go. I can't help you for this one, but we've given you one of the letters, which is Y goes in the fourth position. Y. That's it. The rest is on you. I can't help anymore. Like a print pocket. Now. Diaper. What? What? Diaper. Let's lock it in. <laughs> Indeed, you are right. It I is. A, we're both shouting at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying. <laughs> he's shouting out. Diaper. And you're like, and you're like what? <laughs> Indeed, you are right, brother Jawad. You're getting one step closer to go to Karbala. In shot. Allah. Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala. Syllables are off. Right. Syllables are. Say it, Naya. Right. The next question, Jawad, is what is the key to paradise? To Jannah? Is it charity? Is it fasting? Allah. Is it jihad? Jihad. Or is it prayer? Salatullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. As though. What does that mean? I've heard this. It's just straight. Straight doesn't seem to be that way. It's like a lot of toe out of it. But I used to hear Fajr out of nowhere trying to eat a burger. <laughs> wait, 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 go back. Fajr trying to eat a burger. Where, is, where are you? Prayer! What, what, what? <laughs> Prayer, number four. Number four, let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. That was a great hint. Let's lock it in. Let's lock okay. it in. Hello! Let's lock it in. Oh my god. Jawad, you are so close. I'm rush it. For Jawad's sake, he's six years old. I'm you not know, a just that fit, like yesterday. Ida shams ko irat. Allah, welcome. Ida shams ko irat. Brother, this is all for you. Brother Jawad, this is the most important question. You're going to need mummy and daddy to help you. Yes. It's basically a puzzle. You need to put the images in the right sequence. The AV team have given you one because they love you. Hey, wow. Which is F goes to one. Hey, wow. Tell me when the image is on your screen. You have one minute to answer. Make sure mommy and daddy are there to help you. Hey, wow. and may Allah be with you and your family and your grand family. And your grand family. A6. Hey, yeah, I need to be louder. What do you say? A6. 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 Ah, set. <laughs> A6 next. 
I got a good feeling about this guy now. B2. B2. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> la, la, la. Ah, D2. Ah. What? What? D2. 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 Sorry. Yes, good, good, good. Thank you. Perfect. Right, next. Let's move on. I said D2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah next. There, there, there. Right. Twenty seconds. E three. C three. E three. E three. E three. Yeah. Oh, C. No. C three. Love. C three. C three. Okay. Yeah. Next. No, no, I said Wallah. Well, Wallah, well, let you. Wallah, well, I'll let you. Four E. How about that? Four E. <laughs> I said four E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother Jawad merged from my favorite place in America, Dearborn. Unfortunately, it seems like your journey finishes here because you got C and E in the wrong places and your time are finished. It's with a heavy heart that I have to say to you that you did not pass today and you do not go further today. <laughs> but, Brother Jawad, I have good news for you. This is not our last episode. You can call in again when season four starts and you can have another chance to win, inshallah. If your parents want to donate to the link, we'll put your name in the same raffle that we would have put you in for, for, on, on, uh, for uh, yes, going to Karbala. So thank you so much, Jawad, for calling. We love you. Eid Mubarak. And don't worry, because I know your parents are giving you gifts tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> thank you very much. Jo uh, Mubarak Eid to all of you. Hey. Ma'as salama, brother Jawad. Ma'as salama, bye-bye. Um, right. Now, listen, listen. Him. So, viewers. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Trust me. Yeah, because, because look. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have a gift here yep. live <laughs> by, by Brother Amariza. Thank you very um, much. Shout out to the place that I'm drinking from. Thank you so much. We're having a Pakistani Khoja English delicacy, which is... Um, <laughs> a is chai. This? Chai Karak. <laughs> chai Karak. No, no, no. Chai Karak. Karak. You can't mention where it's from. Yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful Chai Karak. I'm going to have a sip because it's Eid. And this is the idea we get from our boss. Not money, just the drink. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> the pay rise is going to be flying. Wow. For yourself. Wow. Oh, yes. Because I love this try so much, I say to the next caller, Assalamu alaikum, they call your name and where you're calling from, please. Assalamu alaikum, they call up, can you hear me? In two seconds, in two seconds. One, two. Assalamu alaikum, caller. They call up, can you hear me? De cola. Oh. Cola. Technical issues, which is not a problem at all. In the meantime, can we maybe play a, a, a quick Imam Hussein charity? Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. Like so cola. Cola. Your name, where you're calling from? In the meantime, can we maybe play a, a, a quick Imam Hussein charity? Oh, he's on. Cola. De cola. Can you hear me? Salam alaikum. Yes, yes. Uh, wa alaikum salam. Um, uh, my name's Armani. I'm from uh, Tanzania. Oh, yes. This one's on Mullah Rashid for indeed this one he is, is someone. All mine. Habariyako. Uh, salama. Salama, salama. I'm Zuri Sana. MashaAllah. Oh. Ah. The motherland. <laughs> How are you, brother? Uh, alhamdulillah, I'm good. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Whereabouts in Tanzania are you from? Uh, Dar es Salaam. Oh, yes. That's where you're from. Oh, yes. Are you? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> smashed it, smashed it. How's your Ramadan been? Well, it's, it's come to an end. Alhamdulillah, how was it? it's been good. It was good, Alhamdulillah. Full of mercy and blessings. Alhamdulillah. Mawla. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Right, brother, just a quick one before we enter the quiz. Have you been watching the show over the past month of Ramadan? So you just... just um, not frequently, but yeah, one or two episodes. Okay, so you get how it works, basically, yeah? 
Yeah. Perfect. Yes, I do. Then we're going to get straight to it. We're going to go straight to the first question at the shrine of Imam Ali. <laughs> AV team, let's take it away. AV team, let's get in. Let's go. Let's get it cracking. Thank and you. <laughs> Oh, also, I shared the video to my family and friends. Did you share it to your family and friends? Yes. I want one of those. Wallah, yes. <laughs> wallah, one of those. Wallah, please wallah, wallah, one of those. Okay, because you gave it to your family and friends, don't worry. If you get stuck at any point, I'm here to help you. Your first question, brother Allah. Aman Ali, is Imam Ali ibn al Hussein, salamullah alayhi, Imam Zain al Abidin, was known for his supplication during his life. Is that true or false? <coughs> um, uh, it is true. Uh, Some would say he even has a book about his dance. <laughs> Mashallah, uh, it is true. true. And you are indeed, you are correct. Mashallah, Tabarak al Rahman, Elif Lam Meem. Well, we take you to the second question. Will Rasha take it away, please? Second question, my dear brother from Tanzania, from Dar es Salaam, which means that you will win, is when is the birth anniversary of Lady Fatima? Peace be upon her. Is it? <laughs> Why do they do this? See. The 20th of Jamad Thani, five years before the Ba'tha. Was it the 20th of Jamad Thani, five years after Hijra? Was it the 20th of Jamad Thani, ten years after Ba'tha? Or was it the 20th of Jamad Thani, ten years after Hijra? Should I look at it? Eid, 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 Eid. Um, it was. I'm not quite sure, but I think Let's help it him. Let's should... remove one of the options. I think it's... Um... We've removed option number three, so now you have one, two or four. I think it's one. One? Yes. Bismillah. Wow. It seems like Tanzania, you have all the knowledge in the world, <laughs> mashaAllah, in Dar al Salaam. One of the best places on earth. Inshallah, I actually want to go to Tanzania. Do you actually? Yeah. yeah. Wallahi al-Azim. But I want to go with someone. Like, I yeah. will take you, Wallah. Yeah. Because I'll make sure. Because if Please. you go by yourself, you get scammed by yeah, everyone. Yeah, by everyone. Yeah, I yeah. heard it's a scammer's country. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Like my country, you can go there and whatever you like. No really? one scams you. <laughs> the overs are paid for a ring. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> take it away. Brother, Aman Ali Shah. You need to guess the yes. place, so we're going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. You need to tell me um, what this place is. It has popped up. Okay. It is Masjid Al Jamkaran. Masjid Al Jamkaran, let's lock it in. Lock it in, AV team, lock it in. Have you ever been here? Jamkaran? Yeah, yeah. Jamkaran. I've never been inside. Really? Never inside? I have. Okay, I'm just really outside. Not. First. Yeah, it's not really like that <laughs> started right like if, like what if moving I'm... on to the next question <laughs> 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 la, la, i'm only joking this is jump count one of the whole la, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't be asked. name right. the two angels who interrogate you interrogate <laughs> you <laughs> interrogate <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he asked you've been fighting english bro, it's three bashir and mubashir what it's bashir and mubashir uh, I'm on the YouTube so I can see it. Wow, very, very mashallah. All the way from Tanzania. Tanzania, bro. Tanzania, yeah, I expect nothing less. You have very good internet for someone in Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> Brother um, Aman Ali, I just want to say if you win, what we're going to do is actually we're going to fly to Tanzania for one week. You know, I'll document oh, your wow. life. Yeah? Hmm? And then you're going to take us to Iraq, inshallah, with you. Inshallah. Do you know this one? This one? I haven't got a clue. Right. The next one, brother Arman Ali, is guess the word. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, basically, <laughs> you, it's like a puzzle. you got to put the word in the right place, the letter in the right place, and it spells a word. Very simple. Uh, has it come up on your screen? Uh, yes, it has. Perfect. Right. Well, your 30 seconds. My dear brother, begin now. Shouldn't kill me, so I can help. Yeah, can someone just tell me what this um. word is? AV team, can everyone hear me in the back, please? Can 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 Edda smash in a kill me? Um, it's Hujjat Allah. That what sounds, is it? That sounds probably right. Hujjat Allah. Allah echoes and heals in the Quran, for indeed all the Imams are Hujjat Allah fi arda. 
Interrogate. Moving on. I actually got a nine in English, yeah? You got a nine in English? Yeah. Say wallah. Wallah? wallah. wallah? You're being serious? You got a nine in English? <laughs> you my definitely paid for GCSEs. <laughs> my anyway. creative writing story was... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> we'll talk about that after. <laughs> right. The next question is, what is the name of the supplication that includes 1,000 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it Dua Yas Tashir? names of Allah. Yes. Yeah, something's <laughs> not right there. But anyway. Dua Yas Tashir, Dua Joshan Al-Saghir, Munajad Sha'baniya, or Dua Joshan Al-Kabir. One that we read very recently. Let's do it. Why not? This is very, it's a bit tricky. I think you know it. I think you know it. One would say you read it very recently. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. Uh, uh, Joshan Al Kabir. Lock it in. AV team, let's lock in. Let's not mess about. AV team. Are you Baba sure? Baba Allah, 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 Baba Wow! I'm sorry, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Yell, yell. Habibi. Cake and cuss? She had it? Wallah, in. But a meal before it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wallah, I'm starving. Shout out to the iftar. Right, brother Omar. You know what I had to tell the viewers? We literally just planned a whole, a whole, like, what do you call it? Outing after the show because of how hungry we are. Yeah, yeah. For all of the stories of what we ate was all a lie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, save it. Oh, my God. My Thank God. you very much. Um, Star King Ledge. Um, a brother. Uh, I think it's uh, B two. B two. Yeah. On me. Oh uh, no. <laughs> You've lost your mind. <laughs> but are you sure about... Um... I think it's A2. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm not letting you lose. I can't, 30 I can't. seconds left. Uh, okay. Um, and then it could be... Um... Try look at 6 and work from there. I think it's easier. Yeah. you got about 15 seconds, by the way. Just letting you know. You know where E is? Come on, quicker. I we think E6, E6. E6, next, next, quick, quick. Um, and after E6, then... Look at D. D5. D5, okay. D5. You need to give me three and four and in ten seconds. B3. B3. Which leaves... And... My dear brother... The last one on four. F4. F4. Aman Ali. Aman Ali, 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 Ali, Aman Ali, Take it away, Malashid. He's brought Mr. one home, Arman literally home. Ali. I say to you, yes. Nime furai sana. Nime furai sana. Kasa wumeshinda shekho angu. For those people that don't understand, that basically means I'm very happy because you have won, my dear brother. Congratulations. What that means is two things. The first is that your name's going to be put in a hat. And if your name gets pulled out, you are going to Karbala, heaven on earth. And the second thing, I have not forgotten. The second thing is that you're going to win a ring made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So look out for when the team get in contact with you because they will be in contact with you. Congratulations. Stay tuned, by the way, because um, this will all be announced very soon. So I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity if you have one. Make sure you follow Imam Hussein TV 3 on all socials. I do. In fact, so, I do. Sorry? I do, and all socials. Uh, Very good. YouTube, Make sure you Instagram, follow me and Mullah Rashid on all socials as well. 
كويك بلج ان ماي براذر كم اون راشد حيدر وانا ياسر دوت حلفي وات واو وات اندر سكور وات لا نو نو اندر سكور ياسر جست ياسر حلفي ياسر الحلفي ياسر الحلفي الله اكبر يعني ثانك يو سو ماتش براذر امان علي فور كولينج ان وي لاف يو يو لاف اس ثانك يو فيري ماتش براذر امان علي ثانك يو سو كويك كويك سويلي ريسيتيشن كويك سويلي تمصفوني نبي يا نبي يا علي زاومك يا صف زكاني تكوفو تكوفو وجبتك سكيا. Thank you very much, Brother Arman. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we say to you the next caller. Assalamu alaikum, dear caller. Your name and where you're calling from. And did you like Mullah Rashid Swahili recitation? Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. What are you saying? I'm saying good. Oh my God! It's not like one of the mad Where are you calling from, my brother? Northwest. Huh? Where are you calling from? Sorry. I'm calling from Northwest London. Yeah. My brother. Where from Northwest? Let's talk. Come on, let's become friends. Wembley, Wembley. Wembley. Hello, Wembley. Hello. What's your name, my brother? My name is Hussein Estelani. Hussein, the what? Estelani. Estelani. Hello, Hussein. Habibi. Hello, Hussein Sahdani, my brother, all the way from Northwest London. So, Hussein, I'm gonna take you straight into the show because you know what? I like you. I like your vibe. Of course, I'm guessing you're from Iraq. From Iraq. That's what I like to hear. Where from Iraq? From Basra. From where? Basra. Basra. Oh, your ears are finished. You're from my guy. Hi. Basra. Oh gosh. Because you said that you're going to win, brother Hussein. Because you're Basrawi, we're going to ask you the first question. Um, Allah is God, true or false? Is what? Hussein, <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> I take back everything I said. I don't know Hussein, he doesn't know me. Yeah, well, let's just stop there. Right, listen, first question, let's just. Oh. Brother Hussein, first question. Imam Muhammad al Baqir was present during the Battle of Karbala, but was not involved in the battle. Is that true or false? True. Let's go. Next question. Hello, both, both, hello. Both, both. I mean, both. true. You mean true. I mean, you mean true. True. You mean true. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. True. 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 Hussein, listen. <laughs> Take a breather. True. Relax. It's true. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's from yeah. Wembley and he's pure vibes. Yeah. Hussein, bro. You, you're from Wembley. That means you should be coming to a centre very close, starting with a H and that. I'm a part yeah. of that. Come learn, bro. Come learn. Bismillah billah. Next question, Mullah right. Rashid, take it away. The next question, brother Hussain, is oh, which oh. imam taught Jab? <laughs> which imam? Imam al-Sadiq, imam al-Sadiq. It has what? to be imam al-Sadiq. What? Never laugh at my brother again. I never laughed at you. Let's laugh at you. Next question, Imam Sadiq. Wallah, I never laughed at you. Teach Jab al-Ibn Hazm. Imam Sadiq who's known as the father of chemistry, but indeed Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq was the father of chemistry. Is this another quick fire round? Quick fire. Quick He's going to win. He's going to win. Hussein, you're going to win, innit? You know that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to win. That's what I like to hear, my 100. brother. 100. Come on, my brother. 100%. Oh, damn. Straight in. Hussein, by the way, listen, you seem like an active guy. Have you sent the link to your brethren? <laughs> yeah, I sent the link to like 10 people. Are and have sure? they joined? Have they joined? Tell them you're on Wait, now live. Tell screen. them to watch you live, bro. It's going to be banter. Come on. Come they, on. Don't, uh, they are watching me live. Are you sure? You wouldn't lie to me, innit? Yeah, yeah, like. Just because Ramadan's finished doesn't mean you can start lying, bro. All right, let's go straight into the next question. <coughs> Hussein, I believe in you, my brother. Yalla, I next want question. you to win because you're my brethren. But Hussein, before, uh, before I talk to you, bro, where are you going to pray Sartre Eid tomorrow? Huh? Where are you going to pray Sartre Eid? Like my local jamet. That's, that's what I like to hear. Local jamet. The jamet? In Wembley. Which is where? Put him on the spot. Let's relax. Let's relax. <laughs> what oh, you do you think, he should have planned think, that by now. Do you think Hussein, bro? Okay, an easier question. Easier question. Brother Hussein, what did you have for iftar today? The final iftar. The final uh, feast. Uh, I have uh, tenkaki and chips. What's tenkaki? <laughs> this guy uh, is sick. Tenkaki, what? <laughs> tenkaki, chicken fries. Oh, oh, fried chicken. Oh, my brother. What did you have? What, some wings and chips? 
Yeah, fam. Wing and chips from the local shop as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> a little £5.50 I mean, deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, that's the standard British, man. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the standard British. The man yeah. from Dearborn don't know about that one. Dearborn, you don't know about yeah. a local chicken shop. You know? Go they to don't the chicken know. Shop, pick up the chicken, kill it yourself, cook it right okay, there. Okay, that's not what we do. chips. Come on. You can't forget the, the beautiful fries, of course. You're right. Seasoned. Seasoned, of course. To perfection. Salt, to perfection. Hey, wow. McDonald's Next question, uh, my brother, you're going to have to tell me what shrine this is. You're going to have to look very hard. I'm going to help you look at the third option very strongly. You might know it. Can, I might, I might. Can you see the image, yeah? So, like, it's some blurry image. Like, yeah, it's, supposed blurry. it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. I think it's a mom saying. No, no, let's <laughs> stop right there. Let's stop right there. Obviously, you're from Northwest London, you know. You have 20 seconds to choose. I say you choose again, bro. Like, listen, maybe it's not in Iraq. Maybe it's in Iran. Uh -huh. I don't know. Imam Rada, Imam Rada, Imam Rada. Listen, Imam Rada ain't your brethren, bro. It's Imam Rada, alayhi salam, yeah? Bye, brother. Come on. Imam, I know, right? Come on, bro. Come on, my brother. Next one. You're, bro, you're getting this. You're getting this quickly, bro. You're so smart, mashallah. Yeah, yeah, they call me the local Shia. <laughs> 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 hey, my brother, local Shia, and that, yeah? This guy needs to call every episode. Yeah. <laughs> right, moving to the next question. Brother Hussein, who compiled the book, The Peak of Eloquence, aka The Nahjul Balagha? Was it Sayyid Sharif? Number Arab? one, number one. Nice, nice, nice. Number one. Number one, did you hear it? Number one, number, number one. one. Number one. Lock in number one for my friend. That's the local street shit. Yeah, it's the local street shit. Yeah. Bro, he's spreading dawah to the man. I'll have that book at home. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, Hussein, we need to link you after today. Hey, Hussein, where you up, Hussain, bro? Listen, we linked up. Listen, when I finish this show, man wants to link you, but I want to invite right, you out to dinner. some wrong Allah. words. Bro, message me, message yeah, me yeah. after this. You know, coming to you link know our Instagrams? Send us a DM, please. Oh, yeah. Man's coming to link. Say no. My brother. We're Next not question. Yalla. Next question. Man's going to ask you where this oh. is, yeah? Look at it very hard, very, very hard. Hello? Hello? <laughs> can you see the word? Shouldn't can, <laughs> can you see the word? Ha. Huh. You Listen, I'm saying I have faith in you, bro. You're gonna know this one. You're gonna know it. Can you see the word? Ah, mm. uh, right. Yeah. Well, some long words. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, I have faith Masjid in you. Bro. <laughs> Masjid what? Masjid what? Masjid Jarit Islam. Masjid Jami Al Islam. No, no. No, no, no. Nah, no, no. Islam. Listen, it's Masjid something. Masjid something. My local street is killing it. Majlis, you know. Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam, Majlis Dar es Salaam. No, no, no. Let me help you. Listen, Hussein. No, no, I'll go. Hussein, listen to me. Just listen to me very carefully. This is your last chance. Yeah, relax. Listen to me. Yeah. It's Masjid something, and it's very holy. So it's not Dar es Salaam or whatever. Think of a holy Masjid. Masjid something. Masjid Al something. You have five seconds. Five. Four. Majlis al Haram. Masjid al Haram. <laughs> Let's look at it for Hussein. <laughs> Hussein, my brother, you know. You know what? You are come the on, street shit. Come, come on. Come on, come, come on. Big up to come your on. parents <laughs> and that. Big up to your parents oh. and that, my brother. Hey, you know listen. Hey, listen. listen. What, high school, yeah, what high school did he go to? He's he, doesn't want to out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to bait it out. <laughs> Alright, next question. Hussein, it's come on, my brother. Quiet. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> no, nah, Can yeah, you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you staying quiet when I ask you some questions, bro? What did he nah. hear that? Nah, nah, start and start. Listen, next question. <laughs> Which prophet was renowned for his physical prowess? Central. Is it Dhul Qarnain, Prophet Harun, Prophet Musa, or Prophet Muhammad? Which prophet was known for how strong he was, cuz? Allah, can you tell me the answer? I, I can't tell you, but it's mentioned in the Quran. Basically, this prophet he might have punched someone in the face. I'll remove what? one. He was known. Yalla. We've removed one. Which one have we removed? Wait, did you remove one? Okay, 
now you only have Musa, the first, Musa, second, or third. Musa, Musa, Musa. Musa, Musa. let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. That's my guy, bro. That's from Northwest Lizzie. You know? I, I, I like him. I like, nah, I like him a lot. Oh, good vibes. Good vibes. Come on, my brother. Uh, Doing your thing with the mandem in that. Come on. <laughs> bro said, yeah, yeah. For, for all our American viewers, the reason we're speaking like this, we're just speaking some English slang, but of course, we are. We don't have to speak proper English. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Can you see the image on the <laughs> so screen, C yeah? is number one. What, what, what? How is it already? C is number one. C, C one. one. <laughs> no, B. Safe. C1, oh, C1. Yeah. I can't lie, some delete. Uh, B6. B6. Uh, then E2. E2. Wow. Yeah, come on. Uh, F5. F5. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> F5. A3. A3. D4. D4! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? You're my guy, bro! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Hussein, you know what, bro? Man, you are one of my favorite contestants. You know what, bro? You're, you're my favorite. You're my favorite. Wallah al-Azim, you were my favorite through this whole season. My guy, Hussein. Listen, inshallah you win, bro. Honestly, I want you to win. I we did win. No, no, inshallah <laughs> you win the free trip to Iraq, right. my brother. Inshallah, you deserve it, bro. You deserve to go back home. Yeah, so what did I win? So right now, you won a free ring made out of the marble of Imam Hussein's shrine. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah? And now we put you into a raffle. And if your name's taken out, you you go to Iraq for free. Okay, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. That's Listen, calm. Hussein, how old are you? I'm uh, 18. My brother Hussein, you know. Yeah. Come on. Hussein is solid. Well, Hussein, listen. Um, wallah, it was it was very nice to hear from you after him. After him. Uh, yeah, when I would I receive the ring? Like, would I oh, send you or something? Okay, Hussein. Let me just chat to you, man to man in it. Obviously, you won, <laughs> mashallah, yeah. alik. Um, people, when they heard you, they might have said, you know what, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But they didn't know he was the local street sheikh, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come I on. I know, right? The local Come sheikh. Come on, my brother. You know what, bro? <laughs> I honestly respect you. Thank you so much for calling. Um, please stay tuned. Make sure you follow Imam Hussein TV3 on um, Instagram so that you can be notified when we will announce the winner because you might have won and you don't even know it. Okay, so like, when do I get the ring, innit? The ring will post out to you, don't worry, you'll get it as soon as possible. We're gonna call you, get you addressed, and ship it out to you. Or maybe I'll just drive down to you, you know, Wembley. Very yeah, close. yeah, Wembley, not far. But other than that, uh, say, say, have very close eyes on the socials, because you might have won and you don't even know about it. Yeah? yeah all right. Love my brother. I don't, I don't know. All right, love my brother. Peace. Love. مع السلامة وحفظي. مع السلامة. قلبي أنت هلا هلا بالبصراوي. I didn't even need to say anything there. No, no. That was that was the connection there was. No, that's my guy. The chemistry was on a mad one. That was my guy. Fair enough. But Mullah Rashid, we've come to the end of the episode. Huh? Yes. Say Walla. Walla. The last. Because you know we don't have a time or we don't have anything. So I I didn't. Oh no. Mullah Rashid, of course we need to talk to the viewers for now. We anyway. just got told that there's over 100 people waiting on the phone line to be put onto the show. No way. But unfortunately, we've run out of time and we cannot take another caller. However, we have good news. Normally, when it comes to this episode, Mullah, I have to tell them, listen, you have to wait till next year, Shah Ramadan. But because of how many people have called in and because of how many people love this show, Season 4, the next season, is going to be back way before Shah Ramadan. Some people say we'll actually be back in a few weeks where me and you will be back on their screens giving them the chance to take on the quiz head on and go to Karbala. Ahsent. Well, Rashid, it's been a great season. Well, but before we season. end, let's talk. Let's well, talk. Rashid, Bismillah. You know, when we started this season, me and you were quite upset. We were quite upset huh. because we, we thought, you know what, this is going to be really tiring. We're not going to enjoy yeah. ourselves. But... Now that we're after 14 episodes, what do you think? How, how, how has our mind changed? Wallah, I, I, I love it. I love it. I, I look forward to having seven steps. Like last night, um, 
a week, I, you know, after we went out on yeah. <laughs> I got home, I think around 2.30, mm. slept at 3, mm. was up at 5. Mm. And I've been running on White Monster ever since. Beautiful. And wallah, I, I don't feel tired. No. I look forward to the show. Yeah. You know and what? This I is the vibes. Yeah. No, this is the vibes. Yeah. This is what I love. Yeah. Why? Why? Because seven steps is my life. Allahu Akbar. Take me to the haram. Well, Mother Ashley, I think you're right. It's because, you know what, people call in and we just. It, they, they're so eager to get everything right. Yeah, well, you know, we've had people crying on this show. We've had people really upset that they didn't win. But guess what, brothers and sisters? We now are giving you the opportunity to call in more times. Call in next few weeks. You don't have to wait for Shah Ramadan, and you'll get the chance to win a free ring to Karbala, uh, a free ring from Karbala, and a free trip to Iraq to Karbala, i.e., Jannah on, her, on Earth. But without moving on. Shah Ramadan has come to an end. We bid farewell. Eid Mubarak to you all. Eid but Mubarak. that does not mean you can scan the QR code. If you didn't scan the QR code today and donate to the impoverished families, you can still be put into the draw, into the raffle, and you might win the <coughs> trip to Iraq. Muna Rashid, one last announcement that we need to give them is, mm. when are we going to announce the winner? Because there's no raffle here. I'm not announcing anyone. Well, this is the third season of Seven Steps and it has come to an end. However, the first episode of season four, which will come out in a few weeks, that will be the first episode where we will come on and announce the winner of season three, announce the winner that will go to Karbala, i.e. Jannah on Earth. I've been your host for the most, and I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi, and this has been Mullah Rashid. Mullah Rashid, thank you so much. Thank you very much. We'll be back together very Inshallah. soon. Inshallah. Thank you all to all the viewers that tuned in, that called in. We love you all, and we'll catch you again. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Ma'assalama. Ma'assalama. Take care. duty towards the preservation and the propagation of the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Indeed, one of the best ways to work towards the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi ajalallah ta'ala farajul sharif is through promoting the values of Karbala. Imam Hussein Media Group is the only Shia television network that broadcasts globally in five different languages, Arabic, Farsi, Turkish, Urdu, and English. We are appealing to the lovers of Imam Hussein alayhi salam worldwide to support the channel such that it may continue its global operations. Imam Hussein Media Group is seeking 1,000 partners to pledge to a 14 pound contribution per month. This will allow the channel to sustain its operating costs as we continue to spread the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam in multiple languages across the globe. You be a part of this great legacy and donate today. You can pledge in two ways. www.imamhussein3.tv slash donate will take you direct to our donation page where you can pledge monthly. Or you can call or WhatsApp us on 0044-793-991763. Imam Hussein TV, your gateway to Karbala.
But from me and the team here at Imam Hussein TV, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Now, a lot goes into producing the shows that you love here.